Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Normally on this channel, we blow stuff up, we try to capture countries and we destroy armies. Today, we're gonna try to make up for some of that. We're gonna take a look at a game called World War II Rebuilder. Now in this game, you go into areas destroyed in World War II, you clean them up, you fix things and you rebuild new structures. It's a very chill and cool game and I'm excited to take a look at it together. Now. A couple of things about this. This is a beta version. It's coming to Steam on January 16th, so I'm playing about a week ahead of time before the full release. Thanks very much to Magnetic Games for passing along this pre-release version to look at. And with that being said, it's time for us to jump in and play. Now, a couple of things about this. This game does strike me as a very chill game. It's relaxing, it's calming, you can hear the soundtrack in the background, classical music. This is a game where you can come in and really relax and make stuff. Now, one of the other relaxing games that I like a lot, American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator, it feels like it fits into that category, although it's a very diff different game. So if you like chill games, you might like this game. But let's take a look at what we've got here. This is the campaign outline. It takes place over three kingdoms. Poland is its own separate thing. If we take a look here, this is called sandbox mode, where you can come in and you can rebuild, uh, you can come in and build structures that you've unlocked in the campaign game. Probably do a separate episode on that sandbox mode at some point in time. For now though, let's just do a quick overview of the campaign, and then we're gonna jump in and play one of the earlier scenarios. So we start in United Kingdom, and Bibri is the tutorial here. I've done that already. Then Gimbert Station is the one we're going to play tonight. And then there's four other locations here culminating in Belfast for the area of United Kingdom. France has one area at the moment, and I'm not, I think it might be a really big area. I'm not sure. Or maybe there's others that you unlock. I'm not quite sure, but it's Dunkirk Beach here. And then West Germany has two more areas. And I think these areas get bigger as you go along in the game, too. So we have SN Factory and then St. Nicholas's Church here is to unlock within West Germany. But for now, we're making our way through United Kingdom. We're going to jump into Gimbert Station. Now, as we do this, there's going to be some historical background, and we'll talk a little bit about that as we go through. I'm going to restart that mission because I did play through it to check some of the mechanics and things like that. And this is one of the cool things, I think, of the game here. We're going to get these kind of background information, and it really kind of sets the mood of World War II and the rebuilding here, and our role in it, which is we're coming in as volunteers to rebuild these countries, which really kind of cool. I love the black and white theme and the, the kind of the old film with the scratches on it and things like that. And pretty cool. And talk a little bit too about Gimbert Station and its connection to a real historical event that happened in England during World War II on the 2nd of June, 1944. But this is basically kind of setting some background for the event. And here we are ready to jump into the Gimbert Station, United Kingdom, and it's saying the Soham disaster once again. And the Soham disaster was the real event. Now this is gonna load up in the area. And welcome to Gimbert, this is our background information. We tell us we have some tasks to accomplish and basically the train station at Gimbert and its surroundings have been damaged despite the village not being the target of air raids. Maybe some bomb here fell by accident or maybe there was an explosion in the ammunition transport. Let's hope there were no casualties. So we're gonna learn more about what caused this as we go through. And then it gives us the, the, the cool historical reference here is this level is inspired by the tragic events of the Soham rail disaster, which took place on the 2nd of June, 1944 led to, I think, two King's Crosses being given out, Knight's Crosses being given out for the bravery of some of the people in that action. We'll talk a little bit about that. But we have lots of different, let's, that's kind of some background information. And now we are into our area. And as we can see, uh, it's a little bit, we've got some, some growth going on here, but we're basically gonna kind of move around and I'll kind of give a little bit of an explanation for how the game plays and stuff like that. Basically, we have four different types of resources, brick, wood, rubble, metal. We're gonna to try to build things with that once we get it, but we often have to collect those things. And we can see on this trail rail car here, we have some bricks. We're gonna press the F button and pick those up. Oops, we got some more bricks. I'm not sure if we're gonna need these, but we'll grab them. There are collectibles hidden around. There are skills that you can get. And we can come up here and left button basically puts the resources that we have into these containers. And if you look on the far right side of the screen, you can see the icons for bricks, wood, rubble, and then metal. And it tells you how many of those you have. So we got 105 bricks. So we can run down here to the brick container and left uh, left mouse button, dump them in there. And now we have no bricks on us. They're all being stored in this container. And there's another container way down there by the train station that we'll go take a look at momentarily because that's where our big job is gonna be. But those bricks will also be in the container down there. So it's kind of one big container no matter where it is in the world, which is helpful. But let's talk about our task in this mission because we can see on the top left corner, we have main tasks, which is a clear the tracks, 
fix the station wall, build a new canopy for the station, fix the roof of the station, and then remove the damaged tracks. And there are also, if we hit the tab button, we can see there are also side tasks, which is gonna be clean the wall, fix the gutters, find the bomb. I know where the bomb is, but we'll go do that right away. Clean up the area and then finally decorate the area. So we have a lot to do in this one rather smaller area. Let's get busy. Now, I do know where the bomb is, it's over here, so we're gonna do it. And we're gonna kind of get these tutorial things, but I'll kind of explain them as we go through. But basically these lights are kind of teaching you the game and stuff like that. One of the things you can do is you can press, press your um, right mouse wheel, and your, your mouse wheel, and you get this little wheel here, and then you can pick something up to use. And we're gonna shovel. The shovel is super powerful. If you get the game, play with the shovel, because the shovel allows you to pick up stuff really fast. We just picked up all of the stuff in that area. Now, we got shovel collecting tool. That's where it teaches us that, but we just learned that. So let's get these bricks. That's much faster than picking things up one at a time. Now, I know we got to go over these little planks here. Hopefully, I don't fall off. And then go over the bridge. And now we get this little mini game here. And this is cool. So you get to build stuff, but there's also kind of like little, little mini challenges in here. So we have to defuse the bomb without blowing up. I'm ready for this challenge. We're going to inspect it. Uh, try to defuse the bomb. Possible reward is 100. And those things, I think, are the 100 is going to be what are used to kind of upgrade our skills and stuff like that. So we're going to take this on. Now, how this works is we have to cut the three wires without blowing the bomb up. We're going to flick one of these switches. The timer is running down below. We click on one of the switches and we're trying to make the light turn green. There it is right there. And now we can cut that wire. So that's one wire that's cut. I have a sense this one's probably one of the easier ones in the beginning, but nothing feels like super extraordinarily hard in the game. So we've got two wires cut. Again, it kind of falls in that category that feels like this is a chill game where you're gonna come in. There we go. We can cut the last wire. Bomb is diffused. That was pretty easy, right? So not, it's not gonna like really be this impossibly difficult. It doesn't feel like anyway. Now, having said that, this is just the very first area past the basic tutorial. So the areas might get harder as you go along. But now let's go down to the train station area here and see what we've got to do. So this is Gimbert Station, and we can see right here what we're coming to is this mass. The crows are here as well. It's going to say hammer demolition tool, so we'll talk about how we use that momentarily. But this stuff here, we got to clean up, and then we're going to have to fix the tracks as we go up here. Now some of this like here, we got cut, uh, a cutting torch tool. So we have a bunch of different tools. And if we look at this wheel here, we see we have the spatula in the bottom half of the circle, spatula, paint roller, cutting torch, brush, shovel, and hammer. And I think this episode is designed to kind of give you some experience with most of these different tools. But we'll come in and we'll get our super shovel going here to clean up some of the mess that's loose around here. And then pretty soon, we're probably going to get to our capacity here of what we can hold. But yeah, we got a little bit of a start here, and you can see up on our main task on the top left, right up over my head, clear the task tracks 17 out of 82 things we've picked up. So we still got a lot of work to do. We'll come back here though. Let's just do a quick overview of what we need to do here. So we got this problem here, this rail car here. So there's been, that's where the explosion happened and the rail car blew up and stuff like that. When we come up here, we can see this is just a downright mess too. And something happened to the roof over there. It's gone, a whole corner of the train station's been blown away here. And oops, this is cool, historical elements. So everything goes black, and this takes us back in time to what really happened. Remember they said, was it an air raid? What happened here? So we're getting constantly with these little people kind of walking around, we don't see them now, but yeah, there's someone right there. Here comes the train in with the car, the, the passenger, not the passenger car, but the, the freight car on fire, and then it's gonna blow up. I saw this yesterday. Boom, it blows up. So that's what caused the problem that we're fixing. Now, cool historical story, I'll try to be quick. The Sohim rail disaster was exactly like that, where there was this car of a train with over 50 freight cars on it, all loaded with explosives. And as they were approaching a town, the train crew spotted the first car right behind them, the, the, one of the freight cars loaded with explosives on fire. So rather than just running for their lives, they got off and they detached that car from the rest of the train, pulled ahead, so that when it exploded, because there was no way to put out the fire, when it exploded, it killed them, but the other 50 cars didn't go off, so it saved countless casualties. And they were very uh, evented, I think, King's Crosses for their bravery and heroism posthumously, for, because most of them, I think, died in that explosion. So an incredible act of bravery, and that's what this rebuild is based on. And that happened on the 2nd of June, just a few days before D-Day in 1944. But 
we have that. Now, if we look over here, we can also see on this deck and you can kind of jump around and stuff like that. This is a construction site. This is where we have to rebuild the canopy. So we're going to have to some design choices here. We get a construction site, but we'll come back to that. First, we have to kind of clean up all this stuff as well, too. So we're going to get busy here. Let's go back down to this. Actually, let's just dump some stuff off here because we don't need it right now. So we're going to come to our containers, left mouse button. We're going to put all our stuff that we've collected so far in here. Left mouse, yeah, okay, left mouse. So we dumped all that stuff out. That should give us some more room. We'll get our super shovel going here. We'll talk a little bit in a moment here about how the hammer works, but let's go pick up some more stuff here. It looks like we actually got most of the stuff here. Okay, so now we can see on our train here, we've got this problem. We can't scoop this up. And what we have to do now, it's giving us a little cutting torch symbol. So we're gonna get out our cutting torch right here and we're going to come close oops i got the brush sometimes i find this a little fiddly but that might just be me here all right so we get a blowtorch and we're going to cut away these pieces of the car and that's going to get it ready for us to disassemble so we can see the pieces falling off so basically you're kind of doing work now as these areas get bigger you might be thinking i just don't want to walk around it there are vehicles and trucks and stuff like that and wrecking balls that you can use to destroy stuff so i think the missions get quite a bit bigger as we go through and i'll be bringing another episode to the channel too as we go forward on this gotta cut that piece off over there not close enough gotta get right down by the joint there there i'll cut off and now we should be able to pick these up there we go hit the f button and we can pick these up we got rid of the car here let's get out super shovel to clean up some of these other loose pieces. We still have the problem here, if we notice though, we still have the problem here of these big mounds of stuff. And for that, we need our sledgehammer. And again, one time, there we go. Ah, come on, get there. Hammer, there we go. So now we left click and we just kind of bash this stuff up here and it breaks it down all into smaller pieces that we can pick up with Super Shovel. So let's go through and just kind of clear all these areas away here. I'll be right back when I'm done with this. All right, so we left mouse buttoned everything. We took our hammer out and bashed everything into smaller pieces. Now we can take super shovel and kind of pick up all this stuff. And we can see as we clear this stuff up, our clear the tracks mission in the top left is getting to be much lower. We've got 55 now, 57 of the 82 things here. That looks like a little piece of rubble we can get. Some more rubble in here. Great. So we're making progress. Oh, more rubble over here. Let's not leave some rubble alone. Now we've got the problem here of the tracks. And if we look here, we hover over that. We can see again, it's giving us the icon for the cutting torch. So let's get out our cutting torch here. And we can see on the left there, it says clear the tracks there, but there's all remove the damage tracks, zero of four. We cut this away, boom, and it falls off. And we're gonna do all four of these and that will clear the damage tracks out. So we're making pretty good progress on this job. I'll be back as soon as I get these other sections of this done. All right, quest finished. Remove the damage tracks. Now we get a new quest, install new tracks. So we have to put in and basically rebuild these and we'll take a look at how that works. But let's first get out uh, Super Shovel here. Where is it? Right there, good. Get these going. All right, so we got, oh, not enough space. So we're full of our metal. If we look on the right hand side, we can see we have a capacity to hold 90 pieces of metal and we are all full of that. So let's go just dump that up in there. Now we're gonna need rubble. So I'm gonna grab the rubble here because we I know we need rubble to um, to rebuild the tracks down here. So let's see if we can go get the rubble in place and kind of redo that. So we gotta pick the damage tracks up first here too, of course. All right, so we got those picked up. Now let's get out, we're getting, should get a symbol here as we hover over that. Yeah, we're getting the little rubble symbol. So we need to put rubble in there. We're gonna left click and it's really easy. You just left click on it again, kind of going with that theme of this is a very chill game. It's very relaxing. It's not super, oops, we need more rubble. So we're out of rubble. So that's all we can do with that for right now. We'll solve that problem as we go forward here. Let's go clear this other area of the tracks. We got 68 out of 82. Our problem right now is this big car here and we can see these weld lines here, joints here. So it's giving us the symbol for the cutting torch. So this is a much bigger cutting job. We're gonna left mouse button over it and it gives you a percentage of when it's done. We're just gonna kind of cut our way through this to break it down into smaller pieces so we can carry it away. So I'll work on this and when it's done, we'll be back together. Actually, we got the first one almost done already. There, it just broke away and now we can pick it up and it's gone, super cool. So I'll do this other one, then we'll continue on. All right, so we got to cut away, picked up the last one and the car's gone. We work fast. Let's get out our uh, big hammer here and we got to break these pieces up to clear the tracks some more. We got 71 of 82 now on the way, so we're clearing our tracks out here. There's got to be a 
There we go. Left mouse button. Good. And this gives us some more rubble, too, which we can use to build. Let's get Super Shovel. Clean this stuff up. Clear the tracks. We got all of the things. We are 33% done with the main tasks in the area. The tracks are nice and clear. We've picked up everything. We can go down and rebuild this section. I wonder if we have enough rubble to do that. What do we have? We have 16. I don't think we do. Let's get some more rubble before we come back. Now, we have things to do in the station. Our four main tasks left are fix the station wall, build a new canopy, fix the roof of the station, and install new tracks, which is behind us there. But let's go see. We gotta clean this area up. This is a hammer thing to break these benches up, so let's do that. Boom, breaking the benches up. This one I think we gotta break up too. Boom, break that up. And now let's get out Super Shovel and pick up some more stuff here. So we gotta clear this area up here. Get everything paper and stuff like that. I'm just gonna kinda move through this real quick and kinda scoop a lot of this stuff up. There we go. So I'll be back in a little while as I get this area cleaned up a little bit. All right, because kind of went over this area with Super Shovel here, and we've got a lot of stuff. So let's go dump it over here, left mouse button, put our stuff in our containers. And now we can see as we come over here, we have this yellow area. Once I clean this area up, this is basically a rebuild the stairs section. And get that little piece of ground there. We need wood, though, which I got to go back and get. Let's go get our wood, and we'll come back and we'll rebuild the stairs. Uh, take the resources, so we right click to take them. Now we're going to come over here and rebuild these stairs. And basically it's going to prompt us to put in wood in place. So we'll right click and we'll put our wood and then we'll just click on it. Whoops, we got rubble instead. Sometimes it feels a little bit sensitive. I'm seven, like I feel like I've clicked it, but it doesn't. But maybe that's just me. Left click, get the little post in there. And again, building is really fast. We need to put these rails in the back here. Good. Quest finished, fix the stairs to the tower. See the tab for more info? If we look here now on our area thing, we can see the main tasks to fix the station wall. We got the, we still have the do of those main tasks. Side tasks, clean the wall, fix the gutters. Extra tasks, clean up the area, decorate the air, but completed tasks, we've cleared the tracks, fix the stairs to the tower, find the bomb and defuse the bomb and remove the damaged tracks. So still quite a bit to do here. Now, if we go inside here, we can see some more stuff the phone's ringing we get this little event this is going to kind of lead to another historical event so we're going to get the guy Anyone runs in this is Gilbert. say again my god we'll call the fire brigade do anything you can to detach the carriage with the what do you mean by what do you mean by civilians the schedule says it's supposed to be a military transport a what that's against every possible procedure. God help us. It's like that's the historical reference where there were explosives on the train and they weren't expecting that. Now, a couple other little points too. On the top left above my head, we can see area quality is two stars out of five. So we're making progress through the episode. In the top right, we can see 235 little kind of achievement tokens. Those are what we can use, I think, to upgrade our skills as we go forward. But very important because we've got our way in here. We can open up this gate now. Go down the stairs here, like that, hopefully. Come, get down there. There we go. And in here, we have tons of bricks. These are gonna be helpful because we have to go fix the wall. Now we can get outside here. We have to break this lock open to get this door open rather than going up and down the whole time. So get that, bam. Now we broke the lock open and we got that going. And over here, well, actually, let me show you this too. This is cool. This is the workbench. So you can make all kinds of stuff. So when we get to redecorating the area, we can make lights and all these kinds of buckets, barrels, chains, all like that. Vegetation, plants, statues, furniture, seats and tables, small items, vehicles, others. Then we have some building materials, which are parts of the roof. And we're gonna need that pretty soon too. We can sell stuff. First of all, I wanna make a couple tools though, because we're gonna need them to get up on that roof, I think. So we're gonna build a scaffolding base. We need 15 metal. I don't know if we have it. Yeah, crafted. And we need wooden ladder. Crafted. So we got a ladder and a scaffold. We'll need that as we get forward here. But so this is basically where you can kind of craft everything. And if we come over here, we can see this wall is all blackened and it says F, finish other actions first. And it's prompting us with the brush. So we're going to get the brush out here. Tool menu there. We got the brush and we scrub it over and then we can collect it. Collectible found, evacuation poster, tab. So you get these little collectibles that are hidden across each area. There are eight of them in this area. Um, and in playing through it yesterday for a good chunk, I found six of them. So I still don't know where two of them are. Don't be sad, Teddy, the evacuation. You can click on it and it gives you some more historical context. So it's really cool. I, I love the blend here of 
you know, the uniqueness of feeling like it's a World War II rebuilder. You feel like you're in this area after the war. Historical touches, the flair of the story. It's just kind of got a really nice design fix to it here. So still lots of things for us to do, though. Let's get over here. Now we can take our, we can basically left mouse over this and kind of use our brush. And we're going to clear this wall off. I think this is one of the side tasks. Now, as you skill up too, I noticed that you can make your brush bigger to do this even faster. And the nice thing I like about it too is that it's not super picky there. Like we got it mostly done and it says, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> quest finished. So we cleaned the wall. So we got another one of our quests done here, which was clean the wall. So that was an extra task or a side task or something like that. So let's go over here now and take a look at this mess. So this, if we can here, we get the light bulb building the brick wall. So this was blown up or something like that by a bomb or something. And we've got to come in here and fix this up. So let's first of all, um, we're kind of loaded up with bricks. Uh, let's actually break the wall down here. So we're going to get out our hammer. There we go. And we're just going to kind of bash this down. So I'll get to work on this. And when we get this done, we'll take a look at what the next steps are here. All right. So we got all of that broken away. And now it's going to give us a prompt here. We need to put bricks in here. So we're going to get started rebuilding this wall. We need bricks right there. And we just click on it and boom, the bricks are in place. So it's super fast. I mean, there's a lot to do, but at least it's not super tedious and kind of like making you do hundreds of little things. Having said that, got to come in here at Super Shovel. Let's get Super Shovel going. And we have to clear away some of this rubble first too. So we're going to get the hammer up here. Let's do that. All right, we're gonna get these larger chunks away. This will be good because it'll give us rubble to go fix those, the train rails there too. All right, so we're getting these big lumps out of the way where the wall all collapsed and stuff. And controls feel, outside of that wheel selection thing sometimes that I just seem to be struggling with a little bit, the controls feel really good. So let's get our shovel back here and you can rotate through them too. That might be quicker actually, if I think about it. So we're going to pick up all these things. we got too many bricks right now, but we'll get rid of that as we get going here. All right. So clean all this stuff up. Let's get that little bush. Throwing up some dust here. All right. So this is all ready to go. Now we're going to come in and we need to lay the bricks here. So basically, again, we're just going to left mouse click on them. This does take a little bit of time here because you got to lay one brick at a time as you go through this. And we're going to get these in place. Go through here. And basically, now I'm going to go through as we build this up. It's going to automatically leave the holes for the windows. And I found that if I get close to this too, I can go the whole length of it and go pretty fast. Right, a little bit down there. There we go. Yep. And we're starting to go through it. So I'll go through and finish building this wall and then we'll be right back. Oh, we can see how now it's leaving spaces for the windows for us. All right. So I'll get busy. All right. So we got a good chunk of it done, but we ran out of bricks. There's one there. I think there's some in the room here too, right? Whoops. Let's get this hammer and break this up. Boom. Get that. Jump over that stuff. 39 bricks. We're going to need more, though. Clean this stuff up here, too, while we're here. All right. So we got this all cleaned up, too. It's starting to look a little bit better here. We still got the roof to worry about, too. But let's go get some more bricks. Get busy on the wall here. And the other thing I want to show you is that we can take our tool here by pressing button number two, which is where our ladder is we can drop our ladder in place. Let's put it like right there. That looks pretty good. And now we can come over here and we can reach up much higher to get the uh, to get the bricks in place. So ooh, we're flying along now up on the ladder here. We are just motoring left, right, putting the bricks in, chugging along here. We still have a ways to go though. We gotta get up pretty high here. We'll be done back as soon as we're done. I think almost there. Last couple of bricks to put in. Oh, we ran out of bricks, darn it. Okay, we'll get some more here. Then we'll finish it up and be right back. Here we go. I think this might be the last one. Nope. One more row. Two more rows. Yes. Okay. Now it's prompting us for the spatula. Let's get rid of... Actually, let's stay up here with this. So now it's prompting us for the spatula, which is over here. We can left mouse button and we're putting the, the basically the plaster, I think, on the wall here. This also isn't super picky. So we just get up this high spot. We're up here on the ladder. Now, you might be thinking, wow, this is going to take forever to build buildings. When you build buildings, it goes much faster. When you're repairing them here, this is a much more precise procedure and stuff like that. I think we can do the rest from the ground. Let's get our ladder out of the way. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm going to finish plastering the wall here. 
and then we should be in pretty good shape for this portion of fixing the wall. I'll be right back. All right, we got it pretty quick. Now we need prompting us for wood to put the windows in. And this is more what lead building is often like. So we're going to click on the wood and left mouse button and boom, the windows go in. Quest finished. Fix the station wall. We have three main tasks left. My future self interrupting my present self. When I started out on this mission, I anticipated we could rebuild the whole station in about 30, 35 minutes. Turned out it took a little bit longer than that. So I'm going to carve this up into two parts. Uh, I'll put a link here to the second part of the station. We're going to rebuild the roof, fix the gutters, build the canopy, clean up the area, and then decorate the area in the second part of this mission. Let me know if you have any questions and comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think of the game so far. Look forward to seeing the next episode. There'll be a link right there. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.